And here we have the monkey. Bold, beautiful, and fuel injected. Hmm? Right then, monkey, give me the key. Give me the real key. Let's get out and ride that thing. Well, here we are again, everyone. Out on the road for another Wheels Motorcycles test review. And I'll tell you what, you can keep all of those big sports bikes, all your big Tourers, all your big Cruisers. This is the one I've been looking forward to for a whole heap of time. Today I'm on the 2018 Honda Monkey Bike. And I tell you what, I feel like a kid again. You just can't help but have a little chuckle on this bike. It definitely gets the looks. And it's definitely bringing back to me what motorbiking's all about. Let's have a little history lesson, shall we? The monkey bike first came to light in 1961. All that time ago in Tokyo, there was an amusement park called Tarmatec. It was based around motorised vehicles and one of the first things they had when they opened was a little 49cc small fun bike for people to ride and for kids to ride and so popular was that little bike that just two years later a road going version was being exported to America and Europe and all through the 60s, that little bike gained popularity. By the end of the 60s, 1969 into 1970, what they did was the bike came out, it had detachable forks, which meant you could pop that front end out and fit it in the back of a small car. And again, bigging up the appeal to a lot of people. End of the 70s rolls around, and the bike found an absolutely huge following in the vast amount of people, the RV drivers, the recreational vehicle drivers in America, who could put one of these in the back of their motor home and have real ease and use when they parked up somewhere on a brilliantly usable little bit of transport like this bike. Back then, the bike had three gears, worked a centrifugal clutch. So essentially, someone with very little motorbiking skills could jump on the bike and have a great time now from that and obviously that big following that's made the monkey bike one of the most iconic bikes in the world when you I mean you could show people pictures of a monkey bike and maybe a C50 a little cub and, and they are the bikes which have probably done more for motorcycling than anything else so where do we find ourselves in 2018? On board this great little version of the monkey bike. First of all, the colour. It's certainly the colour I'd go for. Not just yellow, but banana yellow. There's not many bikes you can order out the catalogue under banana yellow. Also available in a gloss red or black, both over the white split. Great styling on the bike as well. Love the way the nice big chunky steel frame, the yellow colour follows through onto the accents, the headlights around. Certainly makes for a very funky looking machine. It seriously looks like it's pulled straight out of the 70s, but it feels like a really confident little bike. For well, engine wise, we've got a 125cc air-cooled motor 
this thing puts out just a snitch under 10 brake horsepower but you, you really wouldn't think about it each one of them horsepowers delivers more than its fair share of fun back to you i tell you but let's just talk fuel economy i literally had to read this again when i when i first went through this 189 miles to the gallon <laughs> so ridden conservatively you know 160 175 that is just crazy this bike with this 5.6 litre fuel tank is going to give you about 240 mile range so that's a smidge over what you'd get in a green jerry can to what there's some people i know that won't do 240 miles in six months it's absolutely crackers we've got a set of upside down forks on the front single disc brake single disc on the back alongside twin shocks led lighting all round for the bike i do like as well this bike comes with a little alarm system and do you know what for once they've put on the alarm fob turn it on turn it off and there's a call back as well so if you're in the car park quick press on that little blip lights flash little sound and obviously you know where your bike is but that is a great touch to actually have an alarm that says on and off and not just a, a round button and a triangle button and a square button and all sorts of crazy voodoo we like that a lot's been mentioned i love that little touch as well you flick the clocks on the the lcd display comes up with its two little zeros and has a little cheeky wink and a blink back at you and again that just adds to the fun of this bike this bike now is fitted with a four-speed gearbox i should think speed wise once this bike's run in you're going to be up to around i'd say about 60 miles an hour which is more than enough for getting you around again this bike isn't going to be designed for chasing off miles across the country although you do know there's going to be certain groups that are going to buy these and take them absolutely everywhere but you know what around town doing your commute I tell you what, for fuel economy and fun, this little thing's going to be hard to beat. And the seat is about as comfortable as you can get as well. Big, broad, roll top, real chunky sort of 70s looking seat, but it's as comfortable as you like. I could spend many hours in this. I think a lot of people are going to have one of these as a second bike. Do you know? price wise 3699 that's not out the way you know for a second bike and for a bit of fun and i could see myself on a sunday morning ringing up my mates and saying what are we doing lads let's get the monkeys out let's set ourselves a destination and all we'll just go and have a laugh today it's not all about chasing about it really is about the fun of motorcycling with this thing and uh it's almost a shame it's come at the end of the year because <laughs> if the weather does turn against it we're gonna have to put it away there's some great deals on these bikes as well at the moment i think we're running a pcp it's going to get you on one of these for just over 60 pound a month or if you're looking to hire purchase one you're probably around about 100 pound a month and do you know what at 25 quid a week i could go for that It's one of the bikes I don't really want to go home on yet. <laughs> Just want to have a laugh on it. I want to ape about. <laughs> you see what I did there? I want to uh, find my mates and hang around. Uh, and all sorts of other monkey puns I could come up with. Well, we're seeing the first of the customer orders come into the shop now and there must be about half a dozen of these sat at the back ready to go out now so they've certainly been taken to by people plenty of orders coming in and i say they're just not that far out on a price point i think honda have certainly got it bang on the nail for the bike it's certainly something i'm going to spend a bit more time on and i might even treat myself to one i tell you what handling wise as well it feels awesome the brakes are really confident just 
steering is obviously as light as a pin as you'd imagine 107 kilograms this bike 778 on the seat height so more than appealing to a broad audience I just love it <laughs> another great thing on the bike which well goes along with the design feature is just the simplicity of everything nice big chunky easy to reach controls I like the big horn on this one wow didn't expect that it's not really like that <laughs> so it's a lovely round LCD display everything reads easy fuel over the top speed in the middle how many miles I've got how many smiles I've traveled should I say on such a crazy little bike and what more do you need apart from an open road and a a little bit of mischief in you. I tell you what, if I do sign up for one of these, I'm going to be egging my friends on to get one as well. Because I think a few of us, we could be uh, having some good excuses for a day out and a little mission journey. A little uh, trip that's probably a little too far for these wheels, but why wouldn't you? Look out, pigeons! I tell you what, you know, with the seat and position on this bike, even though when you look at it, it obviously looks like a small little funky things on its wheelbase, it sitting here, it just does not feel like a small bike. I say I'm certainly no more cramped or bent up than I think I pretty much would be on anything. I think those nice big raised ape style bars have uh, definitely helped to say keep me in a nice upright neutral position really easy to check my mirrors a great forward view and obviously at these speeds there's no real need for a screen because we're never going to be traveling fast enough to our uh, wind blast to really upset us and I say Certainly, uh, uh, the most fun I've had for a little while on two wheels. Love it. Yes, Honda. Thumbs up. And something else I hadn't mentioned on this bike. This bike is actually fitted with an IMU, an ABS system, and anti-wheel lift. That's crazy. I mean, that is like sports bike technology in this which means we can hammer the brakes on the bike will break in a controlled manner no diving no rear wheel breaking off and again all together gives me a feeling of real confidence in this little thing as always thanks you guys for watching please uh, like and subscribe our uh, YouTube channel and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks a lot.